Hello, it's me, Lorenzo Bucham Hubbard. Hashtag, I'm Lorenzo Bitch. Hashtag, the gay socialite. Hashtag, the brickle socialite. Hashtag, why live anywhere else. Hashtag, million dollar decorator. Girl, I'm just here today doing this blog, and today's blog is gonna be the one that I promised about everything that I use on my face to look great. Now, I like to be honest and fair with people, and so I hate those videos where people are coming on and they are talking about stuff that like a 25 year old is telling you what to do with your face. Okay, full disclosures, I am just leaving the gym. This is what I look like when I leave the gym. And I'm taking off my baseball cap, sitting it to the side, and some other full disclosures. I think that it's on, you have to be honest with people. You have to give people a little bit of background about who you are, where you came from, all that kind of stuff in order for people to say, girl, I can't look like you because sometimes you just can't, uh, girl. Anyway, I am Native American and French Canadian. So that has a lot to do with the way that I look. There's genetics there. And some to, you know, Native American people, we don't age ever. We'll be 300 years old and we still look the same. Hmm. Creek Nation. Anyway, I also think that it's fair for me to tell people never did drugs, nothing, not even marijuana. And for you guys that like to do it, okay, great. Uh, don't smoke, never have. And I didn't even start drinking and things like that until I was in my 20s. So I didn't like start abusing my body and things like that. So I think it was it's uh, only fair to get full disclosure, let people know a little bit about you so that they, they can say, okay, well, I can or I cannot uh, look exactly the same because this is not about telling you how you're going to look exactly like me. It's just me giving you a couple of the little things that I do to look beautiful every day. Uh, the music that you hear in the background so I'm gonna be playing music the whole time. Was music produced by me, so it's my music. Uh, produced for me, I'm sorry. And so it's my music that was produced uh, for my television show and for my uh, for my blog. There, uh, so you will hear music playing throughout the in the background. It's by Jazz Music, J A Z M A Z I Q, and you can find him on my website as well, and the link to find him on uh, Instagram. So maybe he can produce something for YouTube. Mm -hmm. And let's start with something I don't do for myself, and that are and that's Miss Get Lash by Tay. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, she's the person that does my lashes every week. She does my lashes and she does my eyebrows. So I actually do get micro lashes, and I like going to her because they look really natural. Now, I don't like the when the women walk around looking like birds are flying on top of their eyelids because you look like a fool. Anyway, so let's get started. I think that um, I'm definitely a person that believes that you, uh, just like when I design, I believe everything starts from a foundation and you build out. So for me, I think it's skin. Now, some of the things that I'm gonna tell you are gonna be great for men, some things are gonna be great for women, uh, some things are gonna be great for men and women. I think that uh, everything that I'm gonna tell you are gonna be great, uh, every person will be able to take a little bit from it, and some of you will be able to take all of it, and girl, you'll be looking fabulous every day. Yeah. Anyway, let's start with, uh, what do I use on my, let's start with my, like as you can see, I didn't shave. And let's start with shaving because that's a big thing for, especially for men and also for women, the products that I use for shaving. I use a product called Gigi No Bump and it's a shave gel. I love it. It has like little crystal beads in it and I love this product. It keeps my skin, I like, I like the fact that it doesn't, my skin doesn't dry out and I, I don't like using products to shave where I can't see what I'm shaving. I like things that are clear, like clear gels where I can actually see what I'm shaving. I think that's important. I also use, a, for to shave, I don't believe in spending crazy money on stuff if you don't need to. Girl, Bic, and this is the Flex 5, I only use uh, razors that have five blades. So if it doesn't have five blades, I don't use it. I just think that this works great. Uh, the product that I showed you, the GG No Bump, runs about $10, lasts maybe about a month, uh, depending on how much you shave. You shave every day. Women, yes, you can use this as well to shave under your arms, shave your legs, or wherever else you're shaving to stay, you know, like a lady. And after shaving, I also use a product by GG called GG No Bump. Now, this is, uh, I use this with a 
I don't like cotton balls. I use a pad because I don't like cotton balls leaving hairs, little cottony things all over the place, and I just think that these are more absorbent and they're better for your skin. So anyway, I use a GG No Bump. You can use this also after waxing under your arms or wherever else the chicken you need to use it. So perfect product, uh, girl. That's one of the things that most, a lot of guys, especially men of color, they ask me, they're like, what do you, I get a lot of men who ask me, what do I use to shave? Because they notice that I don't have any bumps or irritation, but they can see that I have to shave and I shave my head, I shave everything. But those are the products that I use. So let's talk about what I would do after I shave. I use a cucumber mask on my face every day after I shave. And this just calms my skin. It keeps my skin nice and calm. And so I like using things that keep me um, uh, well moisturized, doesn't nothing to dry out my skin. But I also like facial masks that, this is a pill off. So you put it on and then you peel it off after it dries. Works great. I think it's a great product. You would love it. I also use, um, in between, uh, maybe twice a week, I use a clay mask. And the clay mask is, I don't, obviously I don't put it around my eyes, but I put it everywhere else, even on my head. So guys that shave, and especially now since wearing a ball head, even Tyson, hello. Uh, I do think that it is uh, important to remember that your head is also part of your body. So if you, if your hairline stops back here, Girl, use the product all the way back there. So I use uh, the mask on my whole head and, uh, and I make sure that everything looks the same. I also use a scrub. And I use the scrub only once a week. I don't like exfoliating too much. I use, this is a, a dual action sugar. It's a, it's a charcoal black sugar scrub. I like that because it actually exfoli uh, it ex exfoliates, but it doesn't feel abrasive to your skin while it's actually exfoliating your skin. Um, I don't have um, blackheads and things like that. And I do get a facial um, also by Miss Get Lash by Tay once a month. And if I need, you know, if I need an extraction, which I almost never do, or if there's anything like that, I think it's a good idea to just go in and make sure that you have a professional look at your skin and go in for a facial every once in a while. Now, uh, another product that I use every day, this is CeraVe. This is the facial uh, soap that I use on my face. Hopefully you can see the name of it. This runs maybe about $10, $12. It lasts forever. I wash my face. Now, because I have lashes, I have to be a little bit more careful about how I wash my face. So I wash my face with my hands, but then I actually have to rinse my face off. I used to just splash water all over my face, but I can't do that anymore. So now, and this is for normal oily skin. They also sell one for dry, so it depends on what kind of skin you have. And I um, now I have to take it off to be a little more careful because I, you know, I can't have my lashes all messed up, girl. Anyway, but this is another product that I use. What I use after is also by CeraVe. And this is what I use under my eyes. Moisturizer for under my eyes works great, keeps everything moisturized because mama don't want to walk around looking all wrinkled. So this is a great product for everyone, men and women. And guys, a lot of these things that I'm sharing with you, women don't want to see you walking around looking all crusty. So it's important for you to remember to always moisturize, get some eye cream and stay looking young because you know, in Miami, yes, people will go out with you if you're a man or you have money and you look raggedy, they'll still go out with you. But then they have a boyfriend that's cute on the side. And then we come to regular moisturizer that we use on our face. This is what I use on my face, like my face and my head everywhere just to keep everything moisturized and to make sure that I stay nice and uh, moist and succulent like a nice little peach. So this is also a survey, not expensive. None of, I don't, I don't like spending, I, you know, I did spend a lot of money on products. Like one place I went on Lincoln Road, not to say that you guys shouldn't do, buy what you like. I'm just telling you what I like. But I spent like $600 for some things. They last, now mind you, these products did last a whole year, but I, these work just as well, hello? And I probably spend maybe $40, $50. Everything I'm gonna show you for my face, maybe under $100 and it lasts for months. So those are the products that I use for cleaning and for exfoliating. Now let's go to some things that I use that are a little more fun. 
And some guys are like this, some guys don't. And guys, if you do, I think you, you should do you should use them. And women, definitely you could. This is by MAC. This is a moisturizing cream, but it is a tinted moisturizing cream. It has an SPF in it of 30, and the SPF of 30 is great because it obviously it's not as high, the highest SPF, but it's not the lowest, but it's great to actually have a, I use a tinted moisturizer just because it is something that, um, that evens out the skin tone. So your skin tone is always, and this is pretty sheer. If you go to MAC, they're gonna actually help you pick out something that is going to match your skin tone. So if you see, if I put this in, it actually, you can't even, you can't even see where I, where I put it because it just, it's actually perfect to my skin tone and it blends out your skin tone. I believe in always having a backup. This is my backup. This one is called uh, Prep and Prime, also by MAC. It's a little bit, it gives a little bit more coverage. I use this usually at night, especially if I know I'm gonna be taking pictures. And when I say a little bit more coverage, if this one gives me a coverage of two or three, this one just gives me a coverage of four or five. So it's not like it gives a whole bunch of coverage. It's not like a foundation or anything. So guys, you can actually even wear this. Women would never know you have it on, especially this one. They would never know you have it on. You're just gonna look great. It doesn't rub off on their clothes. It's not gonna come off on their sheets. And women, obviously, I don't need to tell you all this, but you, you can buy it too. But especially ones who look like to look like they don't have on anything that like to just wear eyeshadow but not, don't like a lot of foundation. Um, but it looks great. And women like to see men who look great. Anyway, those are the things that I use for just basic foundation. This one is gonna be something that maybe women would use, but not all guys. The brush is important. This is a bronzer. And also by MAC. You have to pick the right bronzer for you. I live for this bronzer. It doesn't actually, I'm gonna put it on so you can see. It doesn't do anything more, especially if you're somebody who takes pictures. It doesn't do anything more but make sure that these areas of your face actually stand out. For the people who don't take pictures, okay, good, girl, you're still gonna look good. But I think that it's a great bronzer. It, you can use it, it doesn't even matter with skin tone. This is the perfect for, um, I've seen women who are lighter than me or even darker than me, and they use the same bronzer that I'm using, and they all look great in it. Another product that I use, um, this is important, now we're getting to the part that's even fun. I always keep a brush handy for my, as you can see, for my lashes. And now mine, you, you can get, I get my lashes done by Tay. I'm gonna come closer so you can see. Like I told you, I get them done by her, but there are many people here in Miami that do lashes, but I'm very funny about who I let do my lashes because I like them to look natural, but it's also important that you keep the little perfect products around to make sure that you can keep them looking perfect daily. The hardest thing on my face to do is the thing that I get the most compliments on, my eyebrows. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. My eyebrows, this is, these, this is my natural, natural brow line. This is exactly how my eyebrows, uh, when they wax them, they follow my actual brow line. So the, everything that you see here is where I have actual hair there. I use the product for my brows. This is what I use, an angle brush, and also from MAC, there is an eye, uh, it says eyeshadow, but you can also use it on your brows. I always keep go with two colors. Um, some is funny because I change my colors depending on winter or summer. And sometimes one will be sold out and you just need to have one handy. So uh, it is good to always have a backup. This one is Espresso, which is a little bit lighter than the other color that I use called Brun, B-R-U-N. The Brun is a little bit darker, but this color that I have on um, you, uh, today is called Espresso. But this is pretty much me after the gym. So this is like after sweating and wiping and everything. But the key to be, my lashes, my, my brows always looking great, is this gel. Also by MAC, it's a clear brow gel. Before I put on, before I do my brow, I always put on this gel, I brush my brows with this gel. I let them dry and then I come and I use the powder on them after. Now some guys, okay, some of this stuff I'm telling you, you're gonna be like, I ain't doing my brows. Okay, girl, it's not for you, but the ladies still, maybe. And some of the guys, especially the ones who want to look pretty or just look masculine pretty, 
this products, these products will work for you. Now, this is a little trick that I do for my brows. I don't try to go in and do my brows and have them all perfect, just like, like that, no. I do my brows and I overfill them. Like when I'm actually doing my brows, I fill them in and I fill them in too much. And then I go back with a wet Q-tip and with that wet Q-tip, I actually create the shape and take away the excess to give me the shape that I want. You know, there's a, there's a performer here in, uh, in Miami named Mia Sangria. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Mia. And it's so funny because Mia said, posted something. She says, girl, your eyebrows aren't supposed to look like twins. Well, I do like mine to look like they're related. And some of y'all, your eyes, girl, they don't even look like they're distant cousins. So I do think that it's important when you're doing your brow to ladies, especially, and some guys, if you're gonna do your brows as well, to practice. First of all, I think all guys should have your brows waxed. That day of walking around looking like a barbarian with, your, with hair growing all over the place, you look, just get, it's done. You look like a fool. Get that shit taken care of. Especially like that, they sell stuff, that they sell like things that you can stick in your nose and take away all that hair. In your ears, same thing. There is no reason in 2000, now almost 18, for guys to walk around looking a hot ass mess. Get all that hair, excess hair taken care of everywhere that it shouldn't be. And ladies, if you have hair where it shouldn't be. Yeah, um, that I don't need to say too much about that. So this is another product that I use and I am now one of the things I'm known for a lot of things I get compliments on certain things more than others So the people who know me the first thing that I get a compliment on usually are My bags because my bag game is tight. Hello Drake. Anyway, if you want to buy me one, I'm okay I'll carry it and also my brows and then what I the, a little treat that I have for you later, which I'll share and this is something that I keep, I have in every bag. This is also, it's a lip, uh, it's, a, it's a lip conditioning, high, you know, they always give it fans. It's, girls, a lip balm. And, but I like the fact that it is, uh, I use it on my lips. I have one in every bag. Nobody wants to see men, uh, even women. They sell this, I, I think also, they, uh, Max sells these in different colors, but nobody wants to see you walking around with crusty lips. So always keep a bomb hand, uh, nice little gel handy, la, 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 la. And this is what I use on my lips. So that's important. The next product that I'm going to share with you is actually, uh, oh, this is important for guys. I always, especially if you're gonna be a guy that's going to take one of the tips that I gave you about wearing a tinted moisturizer, if you shave, I always keep a brush handy. My, this brush has been beat up and so soft, but I always keep a brush handy to brush the area where normally, especially if the day after, because it's there are times, like if I'm going to shave and I'm just shaving in this area, for example, there are days that I give that very masculine, you know, rugged look, and I just clean up this area and I'm giving like trade. Anyway, on those days, I actually only, when I'm putting on the, um, the more tinted moisturizer, when I'm putting it on my face, I always go over my face with the brush to make sure that it's well blended because use it, I use my fingers. So it's just to make sure that I'm not walking around looking like a damn fool. So I use this brush just to make sure that everything is well blended. Now, the extra treat that I'm gonna give you is something that I think is really fun. Is the third thing that I get a, I always get compliments on is how I smell. I think that's great. Women love for men to smell great. Men love for men to smell great. I am not one of those people that can walk into a room and tell what somebody has on or like, I can, but I know when you smell a hot mess. And I know when I'm in an elevator with a woman and she has on cheap perfume. Stop it. Just get one good one girl and just wear that. Nothing smelling like a... I'm not gonna say a French whore because I have some friends that are from France and they're not all whores, just some of them. And so, that said, uh, first fragrance, Valentino and Thinso. I love it. Get huge compliments on this particular fragrance. Uh, I have a friend named Noah who works at a, a club called Molto here in Miami. Girl, I don't know where her nose, she should be, she must be part, uh, what's the name of the dog that has the barrel? Uh, 
not hound dog, but whatever the name of the dog is with the big barrel up under his arm that can sniff for, for miles. She has to be part dog, that type of dog because she can, I can walk in and she knows what fragrance I have on just by sniffing me. Uh, Miss Noah, girl, you got a good nose. Valentino Intenso is one of them. The next fragrance, uh, Valentino is average price, maybe $90 uh, a bottle, for, for which is an average price for a men's cologne. Uh, Savage by Dior. Huge compliments on this particular fragrance all the time. Women love it, guys love it. Uh, and guys, you know what? I'm gonna say to, for here in Miami, I get a lot of compliments on my eyebrows, my bags, and my fragrance from men as well. So men do pay a lot of attention to these things as well. Maybe all of them aren't confident enough to actually do the same thing, but I think you should be, because this is how I feel. If you can afford a $30,000 bag, you should be carrying it yourself. I am not gonna spend $30,000 on a bag for somebody else to carry it. I'm sorry, Drake, you have the right, almost the right idea, but you need to carry the bags yourself. Hello, anyway, the last fragrance, Black Saffron. I love this one. Little bit more costy, $300 a bottle. I love this fragrance. Now, th the thing with Black Saffron, this is by Byredo. Um, I, and hopefully I'm pronouncing the Byredo part right. I've never actually asked anybody, can, is it pronounced like, you know, sometimes they change the way things are pronounced. But I say Byredo, B-Y-R-E-D-O, Byredo, Black Saffron. And they have other fragrances that are, that. I say just like they have one called Mr. Marvelous, which is says just for men. This one is unisex, but uh, uh, several of their fragrances are unisex. And then they have some that, so you have to pick the one that's right for you. This was the perfect fragrance for me. Their fragrances are amazing. And I think you should definitely um, go online, look for it, see where they sell it um, and which store is closest to you and you can buy it, but you will not be disappointed. I get huge compliments when I wear this as soon as I walk into the room. So now you guys actually know a little bit about the things that I do to look marvelous every time that you see me. And I'm glad that I got a chance to share these things with you. I am going to be doing another blog probably later tonight, but it's going to be on some controversial subjects. So um, this one was fun, just sharing how I stay looking marvelous every single day and this has been me lorenzo butram hubbard and if you have any questions or if you want to send any comments or if you want to know where any of these products came from uh i think it's oh, most of the products like some of them like for example these cvs girl if they don't have a cvs walgreens right a but three four five dollars per uh, these online the CeraVe products, I get them online on Amazon. So if you have an Amazon account, girl, Amazon Prime, perfect. The same thing, GG products, online, uh, through Amazon, easy to find. Uh, any Walgreens, CVS, you can get those there. The I told you about the MAC products, girl, you know where to get MAC. And the fragrances, you can know where to find fragrances as well. So you can go and find me on uh, thegaysocialite.com or lawrencehubbarddesigns.com. I'm Lorenzo Butram Hubbard. Hashtag, I'm Lorenzo Bitch. Hashtag, the gay socialite. Hashtag, I'm Lorenzo. Did I say I'm Lorenzo Bitch? Oh, I like saying that. Hashtag, the, what did I say? I got lost. Hashtag why live anywhere else. Anyway, I'll see you guys in uh, next blog where I'm going to be talking about some controversial subjects and I think you're really going to like them. Uh, one of them came uh, to me through, I'm going to just share, I have like 30 seconds more. Uh, one of them came to me through a few viewers who, because there's been a lot of talk out there about um, some straight guys who have a problem with gay, uh, not me, with men, not men. I don't even want to say gay guys, just men where they just think that things are becoming a little too feminine with the way that guys are dressing and with the short pants and with the tight jeans and with the longer shirts and with the, so I'm going to touch that subject and uh, girl, I got some comments on that. And then the other one has, uh, I've gotten a lot of comments on as well, and people want me to touch on that subject, is here and other places, and I've done some research and I've talked to a lot of people, 
is tipping. Yeah, tipping. How much should you tip? How much shouldn't you tip? How do you feel when the tip is included in your bill already? So I've actually taken the time to talk to quite a few people and the industry and uh, customers as well to find out how they feel about that. And I'm going to share some of my feelings and what, uh, what I think we should do and what we shouldn't do. And we'll see how that goes. So I'll see you guys uh, next vlog. Kisses.